The Public Services Commission today reached a monumental decision with regard to the government's decision to absorb 1,014 people who are said to have been subject to political victimization during the previous government to the Sri Lanka Education Administrative Service. As per this decision, a proper investigation must be carried out to ascertain whether these 1,014 individuals were actually politically victimized. On several previous instances, Action TV highlighted that absorbing individuals to the Sri Lanka Education Administrative Service under the political victimization list, deviating from proper process of selecting persons from the competitive examination, takes away the opportunity that is deserved to those who are actually qualified to hold such positions. On the fourth, people attached to over 15 trade unions connected to the education sector in the midst of stone and egg attacks demonstrated opposite his rupaya in Batramulla, demanding the appointments not be given as per this questionable process. The next day, the Minister of Education justified the appointments. People who were victimized in a proper manner were given relief. All the appeals were inspected by a committee comprising of senior public officials. They were inspected by the Public Services Commission as well. Grading was only given to 1,018 people. It was done according to a proper process. If one claims that an appointment was given to a person who does not deserve it, that is similar to challenging the Public Services Commission. On Tuesday, Action TV sought a clarification from the Public Services Commission over the statement made by the Minister. <laughs> Obtain a soundbite from this individual here. He is the chairman of the Education Service Commission. Speak with him. Since we are bound to implement the state decisions, we will implement the government's decision. That is not the job of the Public Services Commission. The Education Ministry Secretary sent a list and sends it to the Cabinet. From there it is approved. We have acted according to that list. The Public Services Commission had informed Cabinet that their decision cannot be enforced as it is. We have not issued any appointment letters to any person. It was clear from the clarification given by the Commission that the statement made by the Minister in Parliament regarding to the questionable appointments was false. The Public Services Commission has written to the Secretary to the Minister of Education requesting for all personal files of the 1,014 individuals who were given these questionable appointments. Personal files have not been looked into, but if those files were looked into, everything will be exposed. This is just one document from one person's file. This person has failed in maths. The certificate has been obtained in 2018. There are some who have been interdicted as well for child abuse. One person who was interdicted was found to have committed examination fraud. These appointments were given without inquiring into their personal files. This is a serious issue. On Tuesday, Action TV stressed it is not the responsibility of the Public Services Commission to provide appointments to unsuitable persons simply because the government does a selection and sends them a list.